One of the hardest fights to win is against a good player who's inside of a turtle because there's not really many ways to get in and for the most part a lot of the ones that are like exploits that can get you inside of the box are not really the safest. As you can see here I don't really like them and I'm not going to be talking about a whole lot of them in this video because once you do get in what are you really going to do? They own all of the walls and a lot of times you're probably just going to end up getting pumped. So I'm going to be looking at different ways that you can outsmart your enemies and play a lot more safer to hopefully come out on top. This first one here is probably one of my favorites and it's because you can hit both walls as well as the cone and the floor. And if you hit the floor in the right area, you can easily steal it from underneath the cone. And I really like it a lot because it allows you to steal things and confuse your enemy quite easy. Also, if they edit out, it's really easy to build and protect yourself and keep height. Now, I still don't see too many people do this, but when you drop down on somebody healing, it's important to throw down a cone because this will stop them from being able to ramp out towards you. Now, what's great about this also is it's really easy to block off that predictable edit from above. And I think that's really important because it'll easily keep you on height. When you're trying to replace cones from above, you can do two things. You can either place cones or floor and cones because this will stop players from being able to come out from above. And if they do branch out in any direction, you're going to have both edits from above on them. That way, it's going to be quite easy to take care of them. Now, this is actually something I learned from Atlantis Kuna, and I like it a lot because when you do place down that ramp above you and you look straight forward, players think they're going to get an easy pump off on you, but instead you get a ramp that allows you to control their entire one by one. Now, if you do manage to get a wall off, one of the things you can do is place down a cone on the inside because what this will do is it'll stop them from being able to ramp out and place that ramp to protect themselves. And at this point, it's just finding the right time to take a shot. Another version that you can use is actually placing down a ramp just like before because this will allow you to get a little bit more control over the situation. Now, obviously, if they're staring at you with their pump out, you're not going to edit. So you can like smack a wall and just confuse them a little bit and then go for the shot and then always re-edit your wall or ramp. Something that is debated right now within the community is the scroll wheel wall replace. And that's because it bypasses the turbo build start time of 0.015. And it can make it pretty easy to take some players walls depending on the ping difference as it's not always a guarantee that you're going to be able to take a wall. Lastly, one of my favorites personally is just using a turret because it always takes players by surprise when it destroys their ramp and it will also stop them from being able to edit out the top. Alright, that is going to wrap up the video there guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to let me know what you thought about down below. And as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. Other than that, have a good rest of your day guys and I'll see you all in the next one.